like Hunter. Uh, again, he, he knows his lane, and, and, and he does a good job. Oh! Oh! And Zion oh! just probably pulls oh! his way right to the hole. And he explodes. And let's look at it again. It's just one dribble here. One bounce, one two-step. He goes hard. All right. That's too late when he gets it there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, man. I put a poll out on Twitter. What was the next build you guys wanted to see in Zion won in a landslide? So that's the build I'm bringing you today. Now, usually I get right into the build, but first I want to show you the clips of what the build is possible and just explain what I was looking for in this Zion build, okay? So as you can see, the dude is making 84% contested layups. He's dunking on everyone. He's a little undersized, which is Zion-like, but he's very, very strong, as you can see from the clips and the way he's just making people bounce off him. He dunks everything. Standing dunks, driving dunks, alley-oops, very Zion-esque. He dunks literally everything. You saw the poster in the beginning of the video. The dude gets contact dunks off rip. Good rebounding, good defending, good shot blocking. And remember, this is a Zion build, so we're only six foot six but that makes him very very versatile in terms of being able to guard the perimeter guard inside score inside now when it comes to shooting he's not going to be the best shooter guys it's not going to be the best shooting build i know a lot of people be like oh that build can't shoot you're going to be able to knock down a decent amount of shots like it's not like zion cannot shoot but he's not a shooter if that makes sense yes i know his first game in the nba he goes four for four from three it was crazy everyone was going nuts after that he only shot 20% from three, and he only took like 10 more attempts for the rest of the season. So before we make Zion a sharpshooter, we got to see more of his shooting. You know what I mean? So right now, his shooting is going to be a little limited, which makes it Zion-esque. But remember, I'm not trying to make the most sweaty, best overpowered builds on 2K right now. We got to wait for the full game to drop so we can see the gameplay and whatnot before we make the best build in all those videos. Right now, we're just trying to recreate these NBA players. And if you're looking for a Zion Williamson build, this build will do the trick. But first, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Frag Pro Shooter, the best shooter game of 2020, specifically designed for mobile devices with more than 50 million players. The rules are simple. Destroy the enemy bunkers as quickly as possible. Once two bunkers are destroyed, you will be able to access the tower. Destroy that to win the game. Collect from a wide variety of over 80 characters, all with unique gameplay and specific roles and powers. Then you're going to choose your favorite characters to build your team of five. Make sure you choose carefully to have your own strategy for both attacking and defending. During the game, you control one character and the other four on your team are controlled by the bot. You can switch whenever you want. You also have the choice between third person and first person. To make the game even more fun, you now have the chance to build a team with one of your friends or a random partner and play against two other players in the new 2v2 mode. You choose three characters from a deck of six while your partner will get the other three. And to make things even better, I have free rewards for you by clicking the link in the description. Even if you already have the game installed, you'll get one golden chest, 500 coins, and 50 diamonds. So make sure you click the link in the description and download Frag Pro Shooter today. So let's get right into the Zion build. Now I'm gonna show you two different ways to make the build, okay? The first one's at power forward, the second one is at small forward. Now there's slight differences, but if you're gonna make this build, it's very important that you understand the differences and why you might wanna go power forward or why you might wanna go small forward. Now both builds are gonna be slashing and defending pie chart. It's the best one for Zion and they're both gonna be balanced on the physicals because Zion is strong, he's as crazy vertical and then he's also quick and also strong. So you're gonna max out driving layup, driving dunks, standing dunk mid-range three-pointer you're gonna put ball handling maxed out and put the pass accuracy up to get three playmaking badges so that you can get gold quick first step and then you're gonna max out all the defense that's gonna leave you with one attribute point there's nowhere you could get extra badge so you can put it wherever i'll throw it on close shot i guess and that is gonna be a good badge spread for a zion type of build now the lowest height you can go on a power forward is six foot seven zion is six foot six so if you want to be six foot six, you have to go small forward. That is the next build that I'm going to show you. And you're going to see there are some benefits of going six, six, but overall, I think the power forward build is the best one. So now obviously it's, it's Zion. You want to be strong. You want to be, you want to have a lot of weight to you. It depends where you want to go in terms of how much strength you actually want. I'm going to put it up a good amount to get as much uh, interior defense as I can, but I want to maintain having that 76 speed so that when we get the plus four from the Gatorade facility and the plus four from the overall, we'll be mid 80s on the speed. So I think I'm going to go about 
269 pounds as you're gonna see and that's gonna give me 76 speed but also give me that plus seven to interior defense plus a 94 strength i mean you can't go wrong with that we're gonna max out the wingspan and overall i think it's looking like a very good zion build now like we talked about in the intro the shooting is gonna be a little you know hit or miss it's not gonna be a great shooting build because it's zion but if you put shooters around this build he is going to be able to just lurk passing lanes, play great defense, grab rebounds, slash to the rim, catch alley-oops, catch the ball on cuts and slips to the basket. So if you put the right players around this build, he can certainly be a problem. It's Zion. So we're going to go slashing takeover and look at this. You have built a slashing four. Pretty unique build. It compares it to Zion. But as I always say, I don't care about those comparisons, man. Those comparisons are sometimes some of the worst things I've ever seen. I saw a two-way slashing playmaker get compared to Steph Curry in this game. Ever since I saw that, I don't care about those comparisons, but it does compare it to Zion, so that's cool, I guess. Now, the second build, the second way you can make this is that small forward. Now, with going small forward, you will be able to be six foot six, which is nice because you're gonna see how much that boosts the ball handling. You're gonna be able to momentum with this build at small forward even before you unlock takeover. You just get a little bit towards your takeover, you'll be able to momentum. Remember, that's on a slashing and defending pie chart, which is pretty crazy. But overall, in my opinion, I think the power forward build is a little better because you do get that extra inch of height being six foot seven, and you actually get more badges in the right categories, okay? But still, we'll check out the small forward build in case you would prefer this one. So slashing and defending is the best Zion pie chart. Some people might say pure slashing, but the way he plays, I really think it's slashing and defending to get as close as possible. Again, we want the balanced physicals because he is quick, fast, strong, and has obviously insane vertical. So we're gonna go balance, that's the one all the way on the bottom. Now, same thing for the attributes. You're gonna put them in the same spots, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk. Max out the mid range and the three pointer, ball handling maxed out, pass accuracy up until you get the three playmaking badges, and then we're gonna max out everything on defense. I think actually on the small forward build, you had to lower perimeter defense by two. Yeah, so you see I'm tinkering with it here. You have to lower it by two. That way you can max out your shooting. Otherwise, you would have to sacrifice mid-range or three-pointer, which I guess you could if you want, but I would rather just max it out. That one or two on the perimeter defense is not going to make a big difference in how your player performs. I'd rather get as much shooting as possible because obviously the shooting on this build is very limited already. So as you can see, 17, 1, 3, 21. We had more badges on the power forward build. We had a couple extra finishing and a couple extra defending, which is why I think the power forward build would be a little bit better. But listen, if you want to get more shooting or finishing or playmaking badges, you could just lower the block or the steal or something like that. You'd still have a lot of defense and rebounding badges. But for me, it's Zion. I want to have block. You know, it's it's a Zion build. You got to have block. We, we all know he gets crazy. <laughs> he gets some crazy blocks back in college and then even just his limited career already in the NBA. He's had some great blocks. So we got have the blocks as you can see we could go six six now that we're small forward and that boosts our ball handling up and remember at 99 you get the plus four you're gonna be able to momentum before you even get slashing takeover also if you really sit down and compare the attributes like by being a little smaller i think some of your you know like lateral quickness and steel and stuff like that is a little higher but by being six seven your rebounding goes up a little bit your block goes up a little bit so it's like what would you prefer also, this at small forward is going to give you a different name for those of you that care about the name. You're not going to get slashing four, obviously, because now you're at the three. But same thing for small forward, we're going to max out the weight completely 265 because we can't quite go any higher like you could on the power forward, which increased your interior defense and your strength even more by being a power forward. Same thing, max out the wingspan. As you can see, it's slight differences, but it is really preference. Would you rather have more ball handling at six foot six, or would you rather have a little bit better strength and interior defense and stuff like that at six foot seven? Either way, the builds are very, very similar. If you're running with a teammate with floor general, uh, you're, you'll still be able to speed boost on the six foot seven once you get takeover, but your teammate is going to have to have floor general. On the six foot six, you don't have to rely on any teammates. You can, you'll be able to momentum even before you get slashing takeover, but definitely once you have slashing takeover, as long as you get the 99 overall, as I said. But listen, small forward, power forward, it's all preference. Both builds are very similar. Both builds, I think, in my opinion, are very Zion like. They're both very athletic, very powerful strong builds even though they're undersized that whether you go six six or six seven both get slashing takeover but overall both builds very zion-esque very zion like they will play very similar very close to how the real zion williamson plays which is exactly what we were trying to do in this video but as you can see 
Uh, once we pick our takeover, it is gonna be called a two-way finisher if you make it at small forward. But listen guys, both builds are very similar. Both will play just like Zion Williamson. It's all personal preference. If you want, in my opinion, I would go with the power forward version and just make sure my teammate has floor general. That way when I get takeover, I can momentum and speed boost and just have some fun. You know what I mean? But it's all personal preference. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm out. Peace.